Uh, good morning to everyone. I'm Neep Pushkoli, Department of English, KSO College of Arts and Science for Women. And in this video, we are going to talk about uh, the gym of classism. And uh, usually the gym of the classism, which are around the Elizabethan and Jacobian ages, we already know that. Usually, the uh, you know, the, uh, the classical ages advocates of classism in England. And also, there was uh, two writers uh, who widely uh, spread the uh, uh, criticism towards uh, literature. First one is Sir Philip Sidney. He preached a criticism uh, to uh, age writers and also followed by that Ben Johnson who came and also uh, who also preached uh, a criticism and he followed the Philip Sidney. And the one more thing we want to know here that is uh, he, the both of them did not want English literature to be slave of classics and also uh, even though the both that might Greek and uh, Greek and Latin uh, classic classical writers and also they don't want to formulate any different theory of poetry and drama based on classical. And when Charles first came to the throne, Milton, the one who learned uh, so many things from classics and also his works uh, which reflects the classical uh, uh, things, characterizations in his work, uh, Milton's uh, uh, Paradise La Samson Agudis characters which is based on classicals and also after that liberty from all bondages are uh, you know adored in a classical form even treatment uh, uh, of uh, any writing and also uh, which would be a uh, Worn and also sensuous and passionate like Spencer and Shakespeare because uh, they don't want to follow the previous uh, writers. And next thing is, um, in late half of 17th century and 18th century, the classical uh, people, the classical followers completely hold over the English literature uh, and also belief. Uh, and also the literature represents highest standards of literary beauty. Even English writers had to follow uh, some uh, characterization in order to attain the perfection in their writing and also directed uh, all their energies, they even forget achievements of procedures. I mean, uh, precursors like Chaucer, Spencer, and Shakespeare. And also, these fellows, uh, uh, they started to write without any direct aid from them because they don't want to follow the previous writers. Uh, the main reason for this uh, happening is uh, that is excess of metaphysical poets uh, during that ages and also influence of French literary modes of English. And followed by that, uh, you know, uh, already I mentioned that the metaphysical uh, uh, influence somewhat, uh, even, even the metaphysical writers, they came to uh, born, so they came to, uh, their writings uh, came to uh, blooms uh, in literature. And after that, uh, the direct consequences of Elizabethan fondness for liberty, because uh, the Elizabethan age writers, they want liberty to write anything and also, these people divide the writers into uh, two types. First one is uh, kept within the bounds. Uh, uh, these writers is gifted writers. They they think and also uh, degenerate into uh, into license. These writers are less gifted. They think that and also for natural thoughts. Uh, uh, far-fetched ones and conceives the graceful meters and the complicated system of verifications, versification, these things they follow and also even when you come across rhymes uh, which is wide apart from comparing the other uh, um, I mean other ages uh, rhymes and also search with the difficulty uh, in order to know about rhymes even uh, reading poetry they think that reading poetry is a painful toil and uh, even uh, uh, they they have a lot of uh, fair fish comparisons and complex meters. Uh, so we came to know that these uh, ages writers, they don't want to follow precursors. They want to uh, shine their own uh, writings, their own writings. And also when uh, uh, Charles first uh, married a French princess. What will happen? The French language influence came to English because the sons of Charles II and James II succeeded to the throne after the restoration. And uh, this time there was some mixing with the uh, you know French language mixing with English mixed with English. And later that it became a uh, fashion. Everyone started to uh, talk. Uh, uh, English with the French languages, even Dryden exploited the device to win favor. Even uh, when the civil war, uh, civil war was happened, there was a conflict between the Charles I and Parliament. And after that uh, uh, executed execution of Charles I, Charles II who came to the throne. That time also, 
they gave lot of importance to these languages but whereas, whereas they sought refuge in France and also the uh, influence of France King Louis uh, he interested in letters like Augustus in Rome and also uh, he uh, uh, commanded same respect as uh, general, uh, generals and uh, statesmen uh, uh, to follow the same and also those people, Euro people they celebrated the day of France, uh, day of France uh, in their country since, six, uh, since uh, 1630 what was happened French literature moving uh, and also it uh, uh, moving towards uh, all over the country and also evolved own classical system so that it comes as a neoclassical creed adaptations and after that the French classical fullest uh, uh, statement and also even uh, we can uh, found out this statement in some of the writings uh, like art poetics reflections studies on epic poetry and also uh, we can uh, for, we can uh, get to know that they framed set of rules uh, for poetry alone uh, even uh, Aristotle also followed the same thing and also immediate uh, uh, after that what was happened uh, in 60th century uh, there was some writers uh, uh, like Aristotle those fellows also followed the same thing thank you so much in next video we will see you on the next unit thank you so much